the procession, sorry, not unlike a funeral procession. Whereas we just kind of go out there and as in a funeral procession, you're basically just thinking about your dad or you know, the events of the day, it's relatively a somber occasion. This is sort of the same thing, except we're trying to listen to the birds and the animals, feel the air, smell the air. We're trying to get to a state where we can get connected before we get there. That way we don't have to waste time in the bay trying to get connected. We're already connected on the way there and kind of in tune with the environment around us. That's really the point of the procession. That's why we have this long procession is so we have that extra time to just kind of get the feel for what's going on. We all got problems, we all got stuff going on in our lives for sure. Uh, but this is the time where you can just hang it on that tree and leave it here. Nothing's gonna get solved in the next 10, 20 minutes. So we can just leave it here and focus on what we're gonna do, which is gonna go get a real good connection with the gods, honor them in our lives, and then we can come back and pick up our baggage when we're done doing that. We're going to follow the drummer. So, because her and I are gonna spit off and do our own thing, just follow the drummer We go in. And when you get in, just kind of space out in a nice equal circle, give yourself a little bit of room, and wait for the event. Sound good? Hail day, hail sons of day, hail night and new moon. With unaging eyes, look here and grant us victory in this life. Hail Aesir, hail Asenia, hail bountiful earth. Grant us with the gifts of speech and healing hands while we live. Odin, All Father, Sky Father, Voltam, Vegtam, Vengeance God, War God. Father of Thor, husband to Frigg, and creator of man, we invite you here at Arve in Italy so that we may do you honor on this, a Sigurdblot. As we thank you for the blessings that we've received the past year and ask that you continue to keep us in your favor, we invite you, grandfather, to be with us, to hear our words, to know our gratitude. Hail Odin. Hail Odin. Hail Odin. Welcome Odin. We ask that you bless this offering, bless it with your gifts. We know you hung on that windswept tree nine long nights, sacrificing yourself to yourself on that tree which no one knows where its roots do run. We can't compare with the sacrifices that you made to gain the gifts that you have to give. We ask that you give us an, a, a human amount of those gifts. We couldn't possibly understand the power that you hold, nor could we even think to ask for it. But we would like that we have the inspiration the wisdom and the all-around awareness to navigate our own daily lives and stay out of trouble based on the gifts that you earned with your great sacrifice. We ask that you accept this sacrifice and bless it with however many gifts or skills you feel like we need. Hail Odin. Hail Odin. Hail Odin.
Odin, as we have just received your gifts on the outside, we would like to take them to our core, to the inside, and we would like that you hear our words, our words of gratitude and thanks to you. Hello, Odin. Hello, Odin. Hello, Odin. Wisdom, courage, and strength. In your example, um, I think it's wasted on a lot of people, but certainly not anyone in this circle. We know that a life without hardship isn't really a life worth living. Um, where's the excitement? Where's the adventure? Where's the triumph? There's nothing to triumph over. You know? there, is no, there is no good without bad. There is no easy without hard. Uh, there has to be some sort of context. And I don't want to say you never give us more than we can handle because you certainly don't care about that. Um, but, you, but everything you do give us makes us stronger and better, whether we win or lose on that particular battle. Um, no matter how bad the loss, we always come out the other side stronger for it. Uh, that is an example that you've shown us time and time again in the lore and time and time again in our lives. And it is not wasted on us. Hail Odin. Hail Odin. Hail Odin. Now, before we close this bloat, we have other work to perform because this is Ostara as well as Seeger Bloat. So, Odin, if you'd like to hang around and be a part of this, you are welcome to. If not, we understand that the Chief of the Gods has stuff to do and you are welcome to take your leave whenever you feel the need. Circle around the table and what we're going to do to celebrate Ostara is we're going to take an egg, pick some runes it's just basic meanings uh, if you know more about the runes feel free to use what you know this is just for people who don't really who don't really depth of knowledge uh, write one two or three runes on your egg that really sets your intention for the year which you would really like to happen because a Seeger bloat is a victory bloat it's a bloat to winning to getting what we want to making it happen so we're gonna try and set that intention by putting our intention on this seed and burying it so that it can take root and throughout the course of the year, uh, come back to us. We're gifting this fertility to the, to the earth 
so that it can come back to us when it's bloomed and blossomed. And it could take a year, but generally, generally it always works out because that's how nature works. So feel free to Ladies pen them up, have fun, and then just well, place them in the hole yeah, gently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> place them in the hole gently and uh, yeah, be, be you about it. Ugh. Plenty of time. Also, three, there's a wall right? fire here. One or two or three, however many you want, bitch. Whenever you're done, you can go ahead and place it right in the hole. Get our hands dirty. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Right. <laughs> Anyone who would like to put some get some dirt on their hands? Heck yeah. Oh, what do we hold on? We're waiting for Nick. He's gotta be all artistic. <laughs> gotta make it noticeable, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make it stand out. They gotta know they gotta know Nick's contribution. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not here forever. <laughs> awesome. Did you take all the time you need? That's okay. We, we expect nothing less. <laughs> what about the other three? Eggs? Put them in here. Just put them in. There'll be a, a gift with no intention. You want some dirt? Just a gift. Yeah. Just a gift. <laughs> okay, if everybody could just, if we could just file by and everybody just gets to put a handful on and then get out of the way so everybody can do it, we'll be in good shape. Keep the dirt on your hand because we got a really, it's a really cool picture. When all the dirty hands are there. <laughs> yeah, get it yeah, worth maybe it. writing down if you journal or anything what your intent was, just so when it comes true, you can know where it started. You can remember what your intent was on the day because life seems to get in the way and we forget those sort of things. Is there any other work to be performed before we close the book? Yes, brother, I do have work. Yes. Nicodemus, come here, please. So, in your travels, um, I'm gonna give this to you. Uh, this, this is like my favorite knife. Um, actually, uh, part of the meat that I have today, I butchered last week with just this knife. Um, I wanna wish you congratulations on your journey. I hope this serves you well, and I would like our brother to bless you. And I wanna thank you so much for the image that you gave me. You have no idea how much that means to me, so. In the name of Odin and all of our kin and gods of the North, I bless this tool in the service of the gods and the service of the folk. Let it be used to promote right, to promote good, and to do good things, and never to do harm, unless that harm is justified. Hail. 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 Odin, we thank you for your presence for your gifts, for your companionship, your lessons, and all those hard times that you can expect from a father or a grandfather that lead to a better, more developed human being in the long run. We thanks for your time. We know you're busy. We don't want to keep you, but we would like to ask that on your way home, that you, any creatures you encounter of the old world, of the white, of the Disa, of the Totterman, supernatural or otherwise, that you still let them know that there's still good people in Midgard, good folk who honor the old ways, who honor the gods, and love and honor each other as kith and kin. Hello, Odin, and good Hello. journey home. Hello. Send them home, baby. This blood has ended. Bring it in. Uh, Pass a hug <laughs> to your domain. <laughs> An effigy of our fallen from both Gallahorn kindred, our lives, 
um, our kindred everything. So we share our blessings with them with a gift. And then I also give back to the tree who always gives me the peace. And for some reason, about two years worth of bloats and they're all still green. So, yeah. so a gift for a gift. And then we usually give a little bit to Heimdall, who is our kin. And the rest goes to the Norns because, well, uh, we'll they write the rules that we live by. Yeah. Mm. That's what's the best. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>